Welcome to Edu Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will learn more about carbon and its compounds. Now, let us first discuss functional groups. Atoms are a group of atoms which attach to carbon chain by replacing hydrogen and determine the properties of the compound are known as functional groups. Some functional groups are given as chart. Like number one is halo. Halo stands for halogens. So it includes chlorine, bromine, iodine, etc. The formula of these four groups are represented here. Cl, Br. Second is alcohol. Alcohol is the second functional group represented by OH. Single bond is left behind. This single bond is attached to carbon atom and hence it replaces hydrogen from carbon atom and without affecting the valency of carbon atom. Second is aldehyde. It is CHO. The formula is represented here. Third is ketone. It is CO. The formula is there. Fourth is carboxylic acid and its formula is represented in the chart. Let us now talk about nomenclature that is naming of carbon compounds. There are certain rules for naming the carbon compounds. The rules are number one. Firstly, identify the number of carbon atoms. If there are four carbon atoms, then we use the prefix but. If there are five or say, uh, five carbon atoms, then we use the prefix pent. And accordingly, we use the prefix uh, uh, according to the number of carbon atoms present in the compound. Second is, if functional group is present in the compound, it is indicated by using a sub suffix or prefix in the name of the compound. For example, if alcohol is attached to a chain, then, then we know that it is used as a suffix. Hence, we use it as a suffix in the name like propanol. Third is, if functional group used in suffix, the name is modified by deleting finally and adding appropriate suffix. Like we take the example of propanol. The spelling of propanol is propane. Firstly, the spelling of propane is P R O P A N E. When alcohol is added to it, that is, uh, it is present in suffix. So if, uh, we drop the finally, that is, the remaining uh, portion is P R O P A N and add all to it. So we get propanol. In this way, the nomenclature is done. Now, fourth rule of nomenclature is if carbon chain is unsaturated, then ane is replaced by ene for double bond and ine for triple bond. For example, if we have propene, propane and uh, a double bond is present, then we replace ane by ene and we get propene. Similarly, we get pine. If you look at the uh, table, you can easily understand the rules of nomenclature. The first group is halogen. It is used in prefix like chloro, bromo, etc. The compound here is the propane, chloropropane as it is used in prefix so first we uh, put chloro and then we put a compound name that is propane second is alcohol it is propanol as three carbon atoms then is aldehyde that is CHO group which is propanol three carbon atoms ketone propanol three carbon atoms carboxylic acid it is also used in suffix three carbon atoms so propanoic acid double bond suffix in three carbon atoms so propene triple bond or alkynes suffix used in suffix and three carbon atoms show propa, uh, so propine let us now talk about combustion when carbon compounds are reacted with oxygen they produce water carbon dioxide and heat and light energy for example when carbon is reacted with oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide and heat and light. When methane CH4 is reacted with oxygen, uh, we get carbon dioxide that is CO2, water and heat and light energy. When in all that is CH3, CH2OH and water uh, and oxygen are reacted, we get carbon dioxide, water and heat and light energy. So you can easily see the general reaction when carbon, react, carbon compound is treated with oxygen. When any carbon compound is treated with oxygen, we always get carbon dioxide, water and heat and light energy. Now let us understand what is a addition, addition reaction. Conversion of unsaturated compounds to saturated compounds using nickel or palladium as catalyst is known as addition reaction. Here catalyst means the substances which changes 
the rate of reaction they don't affect the reaction itself and without uh, itself being consumed for example hydrogenation of vegetable oils in the following reaction the double bond between carbon atoms is converted to single bond using nickel catalyst and hydrogen is added so, uh, since hydrogen is added this reaction is known as addition reaction now let's talk about substitution reaction saturated compounds are generally inert but when they are placed in sunlight the hydrogen in them are replaced by atoms like chlorine and bromine for example in this reaction from methane hydrogen is replaced to form ch3cl and hcl is produced similarly in all saturated compounds when they are kept in sunlight hydrogen is substituted by uh, atoms like chlorine or bromine say uh, this reaction is known as substitution reaction let us now talk about ethanol ethanol is ec2h5oh the functional group attached in ethanol is alcohol that is oh now first its reaction with sodium ethanol reacts with sodium to give sodium ethoxide that is 2ch3 ch2o na plus and hydrogen gas it uh, reacts to give second it reaction to give saturated compound in the presence of sulfuric acid ethanol converts into a unsaturated compound for example ch3 ch2oh is converting h2 into ch2 double bond ch2 that is ethene so single bond between carbon atom is converted to double bond that is in the ethene a a molecule and also water is produced since water is produced producing from ethene ethanol molecule and sulfuric acid is known as dehydrating agent or removing water or the or the agent that removes water from a molecule let us now learn about ethanoic acid which is ch3 cooh the reactions that ethanoic acid do are number 1 esterification reaction ethanoic acid reacts with ethanol in the presence of acid or a base to form ether like ch3 single bond cooh plus ch3 single bond ch2oh in the presence of acid give ch3 single bond c double bond o single bond o single bond ch2 single bond ch3 the esters form have sweet smell second is reaction with base ethanoic acid reacts with base to form sodium ethanol and water this reaction is similar to the reaction the neutralization reaction between acid and a base so ethanoic acid is acidic in nature third is reaction with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates ethanoic acids react with uh, so carbonates and uh, bicarbonates to form sodium ethanoate water and carbon dioxide for example in the following reactions so ethanoic acid reacts with sodium carbonate that is na2co3 to give sodium ethanoate that is ch3coona water and carbon dioxide